hello everyone and welcome back once again to dg guru's video and in this video session of ours we would be learning how to integrate the uh, landing page that we have created in the insta page with a get response fine so in the last video of ours we have seen that how how to create a page in the insta page a landing page in the insta page once your page has been created post that you would be seeing a small button publish on the right hand side top of the page so when we are going to click on this button a new page would open which is asking me for for this ab split testing another and we need to just continue on this continue anyways and once we have clicked on this button continue anyways a new pop up will open it is asking where do i want to you know uh, publish this page so the uh, platform on which we are making our website is wordpress so we'll select wordpress once i've selected wordpress is it asking for me that i don't have an access to the admin don't have wordpress admin access so in order to get this wordpress admin access i just need to click on this icon so when i am taking this mouse on this blue uh, line it's a hyperlink so once i have clicked on it it will give me a token number so the thing that we have to do is we have to uh, install a setup uh, insta page uh, plugin in our wordpress website and we need to enter this token out there so in order to install a plugin we'll go on wordpress dashboard and we'll click on plugins and add new and uh, once i've clicked to add a new plugin it is asking from me and here i'll write insta page so here it is insta page install now so once the plugin has been installed we just need to activate it so after installation is asking for the activation i just need to click on this activate as soon as i'll activate this insta page icon will appear on my left hand side taskbar so right now it's not appearing see now it is out here insta page so i'll click on this icon of insta page and uh, it will give me an interface something like this so in this interface i just need to first of all click on this setting and it's asking us to add a token so our token is out here this is token we just need to copy it just paste it out here and add token fine now my next step would be to enter my username and password through which i have logged in to my insta page account so i'd be just entering my username and my password would be So once I have logged in it would be asking me of this permission I need to select this all and connect to WordPress Once I am connected to WordPress I just need to again go back to my Insta page account <clears throat> I'll click on this back and I'll just refresh this page we are refreshing so that this uh, option post page to wordpress in order to get it activated because now we have installed this uh, token on our wordpress website so once it is refreshed uh, there is a, we just need to again publish the same we'll just again click on publish button is going a bit slow 
yeah so here it is so this publish icon is again appearing I'll just click on this publish and need to click on this continue anyways platform of mine is WordPress and now you can see this push to WordPress page this option is appearing so I'll click on this push to WordPress and close now I'll just come back now that as I've sent this to WordPress so I'll go back to my WordPress website uh, a dashboard of my WordPress so this is my dashboard of WordPress now after I have sent I've uh, click the button push to uh, send to WordPress I'll just click on this section add pages and I'll see my uh, page I made the test page so here it is test page and I just need to write any extension which is called as a permalink in front of our domain name and uh, one precaution that we have to take while writing a permalink is that we just we can't enter a space uh, while writing a permalink so uh, for understanding like I have written it test and I'll publish it so once I have clicked on the button publish you can see a URL has been generated where my domain name slash test what I have written that has been generated and if I'll click on this link my landing page would appear that I have just created in my insta page so here is a landing page so till now what we have learned is that how to create a landing page first of all then we have linked this interface this uh, the area from where I would be capturing a data with my get response so that as soon as the customer enters and or from autoresponders the mail will be sent to the customers fine and next we have linked the page from insta page with our wordpress website fine <clears throat> so in the next video of mine we would be learning how to make that auto generated mail which is called an autoresponder through which as soon as a customer enters his detail out here our predefined a uh, mail would be sent to him fine so we'll meet in the next video of ours and do hit the like button as usual if you like this video thank you very much for watching